What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in some more trolls. Oh, finally, Gambi showing off those three. That's right, count them. Three. Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. That's a reference to the Mario movie that most people don't understand, but I do because I love that movie. Shut up, it's beautiful. So we got three new dragons added to the game. Thank goodness uh, they actually can be obtained with Dragon Effigy. So Dragon Effigy is a pay-to-win item, basically, that you can buy in various packs in the store. You can see right here the jam pack. This is like a $100 pack right here, but you can end up getting the... Uh, the dragon out of it oh and before i forget if any of you guys and gals are new to trove you can use that sign up link down in the description and then anything you end up buying out of the cash shop i'll end up making a percentage of that sale it's an awesome way you can support me by literally just playing the game and buying stuff you otherwise would anyways uh it doesn't increase the price of anything it's just a way you can help me out thanks game ago for the opportunity but thank you fine people watching at home for actually going that extra mile because it has helped me to pay the bills and you are awesome for doing so uh the way that you actually obtain these dragons is pretty tedious uh based on the patch notes so there's going to be the atmos dragon which we'll look at that one first that is this guy right here his video effects are clearly broken they need to fix this this is actually disgusting i mean the dragon itself actually looks pretty darn cool but that video effects really ruins it dude he's kind of a rainbowish dragon you know the atmos costume for the uh gunslinger and stuff yeah that's basically what this dragon's based off of interesting enough it's not actually made by b yellow so cool i guess he took the influence uh from the costume in the game and whatever either way it's a very cool dragon uh, a legendary dragon whose fragments can be found from completing dungeons in cursed skylands so the cursed skyland is gonna be up here uh, and there's gonna be various dungeons that you can end up doing i guess we could just hop here why not just check it out it's cool that they're kind of fleshing out all of the biomes with more dragons like i do like that and i like that there's more mounts generally added as well i just find it a little bit odd that they're doing it so late not to mention the video effects clearly are broken on this guy because these electric effects are supposed to be on the wings of the dragon but they aren't doing that okay so you can see those weird yellow towers don't go for those those don't count uh those don't count towards dungeons completed you're just going to be going towards these dungeons that are over on our right and that's how you end up getting them oh my god look at the v vfx when you jump with this guy it's so over the top dude it's actually quite beautiful it's got like smoke vfx it's got oh my god it's got god rays it's got like stars jesus what beautiful vfx and then ruined because somebody didn't end up actually putting them on the creature's freaking wings dude okay so how does this thing fly and i mean the electricity is working a little bit better in this regard like in this animation you can see that it's not nearly as stretched but please fix it and what about the shots oh that's actually really cool oh <gasps> that reminds me of like Mega Man x dude like with the electric power or something that really looks like electrifying i i actually really like the video effects of that that is really really neat yes yes it's too bad the dragons didn't have different effects like functionalities as it were as you ended up using them uh okay so now there's going to end up being two other dragons so there's vantera uh this is a legendary dragon whose fragments can be found in the chest in volcanic biomes now it's very unclear in the patch notes, uh, but near as I can tell, there is a new, uh, there is a new delve portal that is, uh, yeah, gateways. So completing dungeons in Dragonfire Peaks, Dragonfire Peaks, by the way, not Igneous Isles. I, I would assume that Igneous Isles would work because technically it still is Dragonfire Peaks generated but i honestly don't know uh but apparently you defeat dungeons and drag fire peaks and it now gives you a chance to get volcanic vaults uh which is going to be a gateway portal that will open said uh volcanic biome that they mentioned the, the i i don't know i mean maybe this dragon just drops from volcanic in general i don't know it's weird but fragment drops uh, see this is where it gets confusing because it says fragment drops increase at lower depths but stop increasing at depth 150 which tells me that this dragon is probably a delve dragon which is kind of weird does this thing have it actually has mag rider stats to it what about the other dragon did he have it whoopsie daisy not faves and stuff please there we go 
Did the Empyrean one? No, he's just a normal mount. And then this one. <laughs> I, I swear to God, the reason that this dragon has the Mag Rider is because the Empyrean dragon basically is this exact same dragon. And this is a reskin of it. So, yeah. Um, they were, forgot to remove the code for the Mag Rider, I guess. I mean, the animation on this thing isn't too bad. It kind of looks like an old time, like, airplane or something rather than a dragon. The smoke VFX is kind of off uh, off putting me because it's like coming out of his eyes instead of his nose. <laughs> this is such it's such a sham. Like what what did they do, dude? These dragons video effects is so messed up. Like I swear are these weird like glowy things supposed to be coming out of his ears or are they supposed to be coming out of his eyes? It feels like they should be out of his eyes, doesn't it? I don't know. It's really weird. But anyways, ha ha, he's just, yeah, it's literally like the Wright Brothers airplane, but a dragon, so I don't know. It's kind of weird that they put him in a volcanic area, but I guess whatever. What about the shots on this guy? He literally, really? Really? He actually has, oh no, he's shooting something. It's like a tiny little missile with no video effects tied to it. He literally just shoots it. There is a physical object that is coming out of his mouth. But that is the tiniest shot I've ever seen. Okay, it's a pretty bad description over a black background. Let's shoot it over the ocean. See, now it's a little bit more apparent. Cool, I guess. Whatever. Uh, let's see what are the actual shot VFX because I wasn't really paying attention. Why can't I shoot anymore? Oh my god, this dragon is so broken. And it's just standard explosion, I guess. I mean, it's kind of cool uh, just because like the smoke, you can tell like, look at that. Look at the smoke, dude. That's the newer video effects. One thing that I would highly criticize with Trove is that the video effects in the game are very inconsistent. There's a lot of items and a lot of things in the game that still use the old video effects. Uh, Draco is kind of the prime example where, oh, pardon me, inverted burp, where Draco is still using the old torch video effects um as opposed to the new torch or fire video effects actually looks like this it's more hand drawn it actually looks a lot tighter and i'm sure you guys have seen the explosive effects for some of the dragons and uh well more particularly the bombs i think i i can't really tell because it goes over so quick yeah that's a prime example that's the old explosive video effects you see how it just kind of pops in and goes away and then we've got the newer one which is fancy fancy explosion like that where it's just a puff of smoke and it just oh it looks so good because it's like all hand drawn or something i don't know i wish that they would make a consistency with the graphics uh amongst everything but hey that's just me okay so this dragon's from a weird location then we got amatrix this one so far i think is gonna be the coolest i haven't looked at either any of these dragons that's why i'm excited to share them with you so that we get a first-hand experience so these legendary dragons, fragments, uh, can be found from creatures in Empyrium and Neon Underground Delves. Weird. Okay. Uh, let me see if... Empyrium. No, I can't see that in the patch notes. What about Neon? No. Because I think they mentioned a certain gateway will end up generating for that. Uh, I could be wrong here. Um, because the problem is that if there is no new gateway uh, that ends up generating the Empyrium or Neon Delves, then it means you quite literally are just going to keep going into Delves until you randomly see the Empyrium and then randomly whether or not you're going to end up getting the Dragon Fragments. So this could actually be one of the hardest dragons to get in the game. Um, maybe even more than Starfire, but who knows? Oh my god, though. No. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, damn, dude. That's actually really cool. I don't understand his feet glowing gold, but whatever. That's that's different video effects. Okay, that's like weird neon feet. Like, look at that. That's really cool, dude. It's like hacking into the Matrix or something. The video effects are really futuristic. God damn, what a cool dragon. Uh, I guess I should also I'll show off the stats of all the dragons too because I'm sure you guys are curious. Oh, look, we got the new VFX with the jumping too. I I don't know if that's 100% new VFX. It might be unique. I don't know if I've seen this on anything else. I've seen like the zeros and ones, but I haven't seen anything that looked like a circuit board. I could be wrong. It could just be that 
whatever else uses the same video effects is just very, very uncommon. What was it? Smoke. Okay, yeah, that's unique. Because look at that. That's the zeros and ones that I mentioned, but the way that they're like, it's a different um, text font for these zeros and ones than what I've seen with any of the other characters. I mean, that kind of is very cute. I like this dragon a lot because he's breathing binary because he's an idiot. Um, what about when he's flying? Does he, oh, impressive wingspan. That is actually, and he's using hexadecimals as well. I like this dragon a lot. There are so many like little nerd computer things going on with this dragon, dude. It's actually really cool. Oh my God. Who ended up making this one? Wyvern Mahal. I've heard that name before, but I mean, I'm not to say that the Arrow Dragons are like not cool because I know some of you guys and gals are going to be like, that dragon's my favorite. But I like this one the best. I think that this definitely feels like the most polished out of all the dragons. Most of all, because the VFX aren't broken on it, which is nothing to do with the modder themselves. That's just the implementation that the devs did of it. But uh, this one clearly has the most unique VFX. Like this is actually really, this is a really cool dragon, dude. Like he's actually got everything about him is actually unique VFX. They do not do that very often or very lightly. Like even the fireball explosion, dude. Oh my God. That's so cool, dude. All right. Anyways, I don't mean to gush over it, but let's take a look at the uh, stats. So for the Atmos one, it's going to give you three uh, to your max energy, a thousand max health, and of course a 50 magic find. Get out of here, you. So not bad, cool, whatever. I mean, free stats are free stats. Uh, this one gives you three max energy, a thousand health and 50 magic find. Okay, lazy. Uh, and then this one's actually different. So it feels like they kind of made a mistake by making both of these the exact same. Am I wrong in that? I don't know. This thing's got such a long description too compared to this one that just says power overwhelming. Like what? <laughs> That's so weird, man. Anyways, they all give like 250 mastery, which is insane. Uh, this dragon gives 5% energy regen, 400 physical damage, 400 magic damage. Hey, not bad. And then uh, 50 magic fine. The reason why that's cool is I think, I could be wrong about this. I think that's the first dragon in the game that actually gives you both physical and magic damage. Uh, because most of the dragons, like sometimes it'll just give one type of damage and then the other, which actually makes it so that if you want to really get technical, certain dragons are better to farm depending if your main character uses magic or physical damage. So it's nice that they just actually said screw it and just made it so that this dragon does both. That is a beautiful dragon. Like I gotta say, I actually really like this dragon, dude. This thing actually is really, really dope. It's been a long time since we had such a good dragon added to the game. The Atmos one is really neat too. I actually like that one. I just want to see the video effects actually work on it but this one just is more my style like i really like the look of it and everything this might be one of my new favorite dragons dude like i'm not even kidding this is actually really dope <laughs> anyways uh pick your poison what do you guys think sound off in the comments if you have a favorite and you want to argue with me that's perfectly fine uh but otherwise i hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and uh yeah have yourselves a great day sign on stay up gamers